Android 12 has just reached public beta status, and with this latest milestone build, we're finally seeing some of the visual changes that have been hinted at since the first developer preview. That said, we're still a few months away from stable Android 12, so quite a lot of the stuff you probably saw in the Google I.O. keynote still is not ready in this build. Anyway, let's take a look at what's new in the first beta of Android 12. Take a sec to subscribe so you don't miss more videos like this one, and we'll jump in. Almost everything new in this beta has to do with Material U, the new Google design language that is the latest iteration of Material Design. Thicker lines, larger rounded corners, bouncier animations, and bigger text. It's the start of the biggest Android design change in at least five years. First change you'll notice is the larger lock screen clock, which expands to fill the display when you don't have any notifications. And the notifications themselves have been redesigned in line with Material U. The same goes for Android's quick settings, with this new style brightness control and text labels. It's a pretty dramatic departure from the look and feel of Android 11, and that style also carries over to the new thicker volume control panel. Meanwhile, in the settings app, the design changes that were codenamed Silky Home in previous builds are now fully implemented, with Samsung-style headers that expand to help you more easily reach the controls at the top. And there's a new highlight effect when you tap on menu items. Kinda hard to see, but there is a very subtle noise pattern to this effect, which is a nice little visual flair. In other areas, Material U is sort of half-implemented, so things do look a little bit weird. And in typical Google fashion, there's quite a bit of stuff that was announced at I.O. that isn't enabled in this build. There are big changes coming to the way Android widgets look and behave, and while the rounded corners are there and there is this new conversation widget that looks similar to the leaked people space feature in previous builds, right now this is basically just a shortcut to any one of your recent conversations. And coming to pixels in Android 12 will be the new privacy dashboard, and privacy-centric features like visuals for when apps are using your camera and location, plus the ability to limit apps to only use your approximate location, however none of that stuff is enabled in this first beta build. The big one though is of course the colour extraction feature that'll help pull complementary colours out of the material design palette to match your wallpaper. That's a big part of the new look that's currently not live here. You can kind of get the feel for how it'll work by setting a custom accent colour in this build, but the idea is eventually it'll work automatically and pull out more than one colour in a way that complements the UI. So when you get your Pixel 6 or the final Android 12 build on an existing Pixel this fall, the whole colour scheme and design language is going to look and feel pretty different to this first beta. One feature Google has enabled in this beta though is App Hibernation, which makes Android a bit smarter about how it handles apps you haven't used in a while. These will automatically have their temporary files, but not personal app data, removed from them. And they'll also lose any permissions that you granted to them. Another behind the scenes change is the Private Compute Core, which is a new separate part of the OS that's siloed away to ensure the safety of your personal data when it's being used for AI features. Think things like live caption or now playing on a Pixel phone, Android 12 makes it easier to use your phone for this kind of stuff, while also keeping your private data secure. So, as big as all the changes coming in Android 12 are, there is still a whole bunch of them that we can't really play with yet in this first beta, and as such, it seems a little further behind perhaps than we were with the first betas of Android 10 or Android 11. You can enroll any recent Pixel, Pixel 3 or above, via the web and they'll get the beta, but do expect bugs and some incomplete features here and there. There'll be three more beta builds released before Android 12 is finalised this fall, and we'll have full coverage of what's in each build as they land. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.